Hey everybody, I wanted to give you a quick tip for uh, adding a cool image fill to your bar charts in Excel. You're going to see a ton of tutorials about how to do this online. I found most people are just copying other tutorials and clearly have not actually tried doing it themselves because when they do it, it tends to look like this. So let me show you how to do it and actually make it look right because it's a, it, you know, honestly, this is a cool skill to have and it kind of opens up an understanding of how to do image fills and picture fills in Excel in general. So we're going to start with just a regular bar chart like this. And we want to decide what kind of fill we want to use inside of what kind of image or icon we want. So we're going to go to the Insert tab and click Icons. Uh, this one's about national parks, so let's grab a couple of different types of trees. I'll grab this tree and this tree so they look a little different. I'm going to hit Insert, and it's going to drop them in. Now, we want our trees to be white because we've got a darker colored background. So we're just going to go to Format Graphic here and change the color fill to white, and that's going to change these to white. Now, what I want you to do is click on one of the trees and hit Control c or Command-C. Then click on your bar, one of your sets of bars here. Make sure that they're all selected and you haven't accidentally just selected one. And now what we're going to be doing is adding a picture or texture fill. And we're going to hit Clipboard, and that's going to take the image from our clipboard that we copied when we hit Command-C, and then use it as the background. Now, this is where some people don't understand how this works. So, stretch is just stretching the image. Stack is going to stack the images next to each other, and stack and scale is going to stack the images and scale them according to the size of your chart. Almost all of the time, you're going to want to use stack for this. Now, this chart's going to be a little hard to understand, so we're going to go to the Chart Design tab, and we're going to hit Add Chart Element. We're going to drop in data labels outside end, and that's going to put a data label right here where we can actually read it. Now for our other bar, we're going to do the same thing. Click into our bar, go to our fills, hit picture or texture fill, hit clipboard, and then hit stack. Now these labels, again, hard to read because they're over where the image is, so we're just going to delete those, click back in, go to chart design, and add in labels again for this a series as well. And boom, we've got a fun little image fill for both of these. If you really don't like that it's cropping at the edge here, see where it crops off a little bit, we can go stack and scale with, and that's going to fix the cropping, but you're going to have to adjust things because it's going to distort the aspect ratio of the image, and you're, so you might have to adjust the size of your chart accordingly. I personally don't mind when it crops on the edge. I think it still works. And there you go. That's how you add a proper picture fill to a bar chart in Excel. I'm going to be doing a much deeper series where I go through every single feature of how to edit bar charts that'll be coming out soon. So follow if you want more of that. And if you want free copies of like templates like the one you see behind me here, I send them out for free on my newsletter. It's literally just free templates with little tutorials tied to them to help you learn how to do this yourself and have a real world example to look at while you're doing it. Anyway, thanks everybody. Have a good one. Bye.